Anyways, uh, precious nice one there, but let's, uh, let's move on to our next topic as we await uh, your contribution or your, your participation on the show on this various topics. The phone lines are displayed uh, on your screen, so do call in and let's know what you think about. So the next story talks about uh, the retired justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Mary Audley, has warned against fanning the embers of hatred, bigotry and tribalism without restraint following the 2023 presidential election, saying it could consume everyone. Now, speaking on Friday at a colloquium uh, held in honor of Joe Kiari Gadzama in Abuja, Mrs. Odili said the 2023 general elections generated a storm, particularly from losers who feel cheated by the election's outcome and have since resorted to making incendiary uh, remarks that could plunge the nation into anarchy. Of course, we are going to be bringing you sub, sub, in our subsequent subsequent bulletin. You're going to be seeing the video. But of course, precious, you've seen this video of uh, uh, the, of the uh, 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 Mary Justice Mary Audley trending online, and all she said about you know after the elections, there's been a lot of uh, comments from several Nigerians. Yes, we we do not condone or we do not encourage any comments that may want to you know blackmail our judiciary system yes but then uh, ju 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 judiciary at this point in nigeria's history it seems like nigerians are losing the trust on the judiciary because there's been a lot of comments and what really got to me anyways be before before I, I i give my take on this i want to hear what you have to say on this particular uh, topic you know, like I, I, I am a, I'm a, usually of the personal opinion that um, when you talk, what's your intention? Mm. When you talk, are you talking because you just want to be heard? You know, because you feel like, oh, uh, um, uh, I have an opinion, I must voice the opinion. How, where do you get off saying that the election was, uh, the, the, the complaints are being, noise has been made by losers? How did you arrive at the fact that they're losers? Mm. How did you know that? Because the case is still in court. Because the case is in court. Is it that you personally have, you've done judge, jury, and mm. everything on the matter, and you've decided... Or there's, a, there's an information that you are aware of that we all, you know, the other Nigerians do not know comments about. Comments like that raises questions. I would have thought that, you know, as someone who understands what is going on in the country right now, who understands that there's tension mm. sometimes it could be not uh, perceivable but it's there you know nigerians are hinging so much hope and trust on the tribunal ruling mm. i would have thought that she would just stop at you know whatever outcome let's accept the results mm. and move on it can only get better and all that but to say that the people like you're insinuating that people who went to court are losers mm. I mean, facts and figures are out there. Or people who were declared winner, who their candidates were not declared winner, facts, are losers. Facts and figures are out there. You, you know, for, for Nigerians to decide. Nigerians know, know who they, they, they voted for. The, 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 the case is in court right now. I, I, I felt like that whole commentary wasn't necessary. Mm. Because already people are just, you know, waiting. Initially, one, the, the, the proceedings were not open to Nigeria, so we we're not even privy to what was going on there. It was just snippets we got from people who came out to say, okay, X, Y, Z happened. So Nigerians are holding that on the one hand, and they're saying, you know what, let the results come out. So I personally, you know, I, you, you know, understanding that your words can be misquoted, mm. however you mean, it can be just, maybe you are a part, a part of a, uh, a member of a party, and you make a statement like this, which is supposed to actually, you know, in all innocence, to say, you know what, uh, so they're having a lot of talk and all that. But because you belong to a particular party, in quotes, Niger people can just misread your words. So I, I, I want to say that, you know, leaders right now should be very mindful the kind of comments they make, make because you are a public figure that people actually look up to. People take your word mm. with a lot of um, seriousness. So you don't make statements that can be misjudged. Mm. You don't make statements that can be misinterpreted because people hear differently. People perceive differently. People interpret differently also. You understand? So, I, of course, trust social media. That word has been dissected, it's been debated, it's been discussed. Mm. So many conclusions, so many interpretations, you know, have emerged from just that statement. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you very much, Precious. But mm. 
I am of the opinion that when you want to judge, of course, she's a justice uh, of she won, uh, the Federation of uh, one time justice of the Federation. Mm. When you want to judge, let there be a balance. Mm -hmm. mm. So she talked about bigotry. Mm -hmm. And I am wondering, where was Justice Mary Odili when Bayo Nanuga was making comments of ethnic bias? Where was just, uh, Justice Mary Odili when uh, MCO Luomo was threatening a particular ethnic group? In no, let's see, point of correction, Emmanuel. You see that threat? It was, it, was, um, it was a statement that would have um, described a particular, a particular ethnic mm. group. But it wasn't meant for just that ethnic group. Mm. Because at the end of the day, what played out was, if you are not from a particular political party, political party and a particular ethnic group, mm. you, okay, became, so other you became Iachukudi. Their enemy, yes. Do you understand? So I didn't think you know it was party so it just cut across party lines mm. and uh tribe mm. it was unfortunate but, but that that was ethnic bias that was bigotry my point exactly yes so where was she where was she why, why did she... didn't she make all these comments why did she condemned those acts you know so at that time so this why, is yeah that's why i'm of the opinion that as a leader in society as a person of authority in society at whatever level mm. please be mindful of, of of the kind of statement you make because people would respond and react and that could make oma mm, do you understand yeah. it could it could it could foster peace it could bring trouble so let's be mindful of you know what we say and what we do because it goes a long way go ahead you know you've been listening to the conversation what do you have to say about all of this you you've seen the trending videos that have been making rounds and uh, you know uh, uh justice mary Odile's comments on on all of this let's know what you have to say about this well i have quite a lot to say because funny enough why are all these uh, senior advocates of of Nassan, you know, judges opening their mouth to talk. I thought it was the responsibility of NGOs, you know, to be, you know, cautioning government and people about bigotry. So when did it become the duty and the job of a senior advocate in Nigeria, you know, or a Supreme Justice formerly retired to be advocating against bigotry. Where were was all these comments during the bigotry that we all saw that played out in Lagos, Nigeria? Where was all that aggression? You understand? Yes, right, Falana was on national TV, you know, and he was saying a lot about uh, intimidation of justice and all of that. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, you know, of, of, of the the, the integrity of the justice system in Nigeria. They should give Nigerians 10 good reasons why Nigerians should trust the justice system in Nigeria. So why all this clamor, why all this, you know, uh, press statements, you know, being given by these people, you know, who re represent the justice system in Nigeria? Why? Is that a signal? Are they signaling something? Are they trying to, you know, push a narrative before we finally get to, you know, hear the verdict? Is that what is at play right here? And I, I'm, I'm wondering because I, I see me, I just feel it's out of place. When did it become the responsibility of the judges? Were they not the ones that were telling Nigerians that Nigerians should keep quiet and wait for the outcome of the election? They were the ones who were like, keep calm. They even gave a standing order for journalists and as well as media organizations to stay away from conversation until the verdict is out. So Nigerians have been patient enough, you know, to wait out the final decision from the, from, from the, from the trial. And of course, they're going to be make uh, their statement released tomorrow. So I, I just don't see they should leave all the, the clamor you know uh, intimidation and talking about uh bigotry they should leave that for the ngos the ngos will do that i mean we also saw the european union you know what they said about the election we have people that are observing and we have people who will you know preach and talk about that but yours is to stay put and of course ensure that with the evidence that has been presented in court you make decision and honestly I am wondering why, you know, because even when we're preparing for, 
you know, conversations as regarding some of the controversies surrounding this election tribunal. I reached out to some uh, senior advocates of Nigeria and they were on mute. They didn't want to talk or say anything. So why is it that it is now that the outcome, you know, is going to be released for all Nigerians to hear? Why is it that it is right now that they are bent, you know, on making comments? You know, it was pretty funny, especially listen to Falana last yesterday on national TV. I was just kind of like thrown aback, like, okay, why these vibes at this particular time? I thought you were for the masses. I thought you were speaking, you know, as a human rights people are going to talk nigeria's population is above is approximately above 200 million people how are you going to shut up people's mouth people are going to talk so to do their job and leave my <clears throat> leave nigerians to to talk and of course nigerians have been patient enough that's my my take on this uh, particular developing story emmanuel very much but you know <laughs> precious i yeah. I, I feel Justice Mary Adili mm. is a Nigerian. Mm. She has the right to air her view. She has the right to say what she, she has the right to talk. Indeed. You know, so you cannot really say uh, she's right or wrong. Yeah. But whatever she says, she should be, she would be held accountable for whatever oh, she yes. says. But she basically she is a Nigerian and has the right to air her view. And let me quickly chip this in. When Mono said uh, the mm. Chief Justice, nobody was talking at the point. Mm. Don't forget that when cases are in court, you find lawyers, justices, they can't comment But on this case cases. is still in court, though. Uh, well, verdict is coming out anytime <laughs> soon. So, of course, uh, probably they're privy to the fact that, oh, they've round, rounded up, you know, mm. everything that they have to do is just, you know, to bring out the hearing and all that. Mm. And I think probably that's why, you know, you're hearing them speak, because in all honesty, before now, mm. you didn't hear them speak. Exactly. They never said anything. So, I I, I, I do understand that when a case is, is in court, a lawyer or anybody that has anything to do with that case mm. cannot comment, you know, on... on yeah, on, on yeah the, the case is, is, in, is in court and, of course, the verdict will be given to, uh, uh, well, on, uh, on Wednesday, to, on, Wednesday mm. on the 6th of September. But then, some Nigerians have felt that this is almost blackmail. Mm -hmm. At the time where you're telling Nigerians to shut up, of course, the, we, Nigerians wanted to call uh, it was, uh, call it election uh, petition uh, courts. They said no, Nigerians should call it a tribunal. That is a tribunal. That is not a tribunal. Uh, that is a court. So don't call it a tribunal. <laughs> election, it's a yeah, court. don't yeah. call it tribunal. It <laughs> is a court. court. Now the Nigerians said, oh, the justices are on trial. The judiciary is are on trial. They, they said no, it. that the judiciary is not on trial. That oh, so many cases, so many talks has come out emanated from this particular uh, uh, session, court session, or mm. from this particular case. But uh, for, but for Justice Mary Odile to come out and, you know, make those comments, uh, calling some people names, uh, calling some people losers, and talking about the bigotry that has, I mean, let us balance up these things mm -hmm. uh, when we want to have this conversation. I, I don't, you know, she has the right, she can say whatever she wants, but let there be a balance. When you condemn one person's action, also condemn the others, Indeed. because we've seen bigotry and ethnic bias being expressed by some members of a particular political party, mm -hmm. and nothing has been said or done uh, about it. So how is it when the other part is uh, Yes, That's when you are reminded now call them that losers. Oh, <laughs> 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 Imagine let's rest that story. <laughs>